is of course Leon Rogers. This review of the National Irish Championship is brought to you by BeforeMX.com, the classified ads website for everything off-road. Hello and welcome to the smack bang centre of Dublin City here this morning for the 2019 annual event which is the Dublin City Supercross. You can see the track in here behind me where they've had plenty of machines out on circuit to try and scoop some of the wet bulk off it from the rain and stuff we had over the last couple of days. But to be fair, the track looks in a decent enough condition to hold the event today. At the moment we're just pre-rider uh, briefing it here this morning and everybody's getting uh, ready and getting anxious and nervous to get out on circuit and they'll have the rider brief and tell everybody what the story is. But we've got the Monster Energy crew here, we've got the chip van here, we've got plenty Plenty of areas to spectate and watch today's racing, but we're going to try and catch it all on camera for you today, get some interviews with the riders and see how it plays out. It's a really, really compact circuit here at Dublin City Supercross and that's why it lends itself to the name of Supercross, even though traditionally these are in an arena uh, or a stadium type circuit. This track is really packed into a very small area with plenty of big jumps to challenge the riders here. You have to be really hard on the power coming out of the corners and stuff if you want to make it over the tops of the jumps. And the thing that I found uh, most strange when I came here for the first time was the, the ground condition. If you can see it here in front of me, it's a really, really sandy circuit, which I was really surprised about the first time I came to this track. I didn't expect that type of soil to be here. So there's going to be plenty of challenging conditions, but as I walked around the circuit this morning, it's plenty hard underfoot. They've scraped a lot of the slop away, put in some drainage to try and keep that water away from the circuit. And we've got some big heavy hitters here as well today to challenge each other. We've got Stuart Edmonds rolling up. I saw James Mackerel in the paddock. I saw... Um, Glenn McCormack as well, the MX2 Ultra Championship, and I was just speaking with the MX2 Irish Champion of Jake Sheridan here as well this morning. So it'll be nice to see these guys tackle each other in a one-off off-season event and see how they compare. Obviously, you can't uh, determine a championship for next year from the results from here today, but just interesting to keep an eye on these boys and see how they're playing it. I was just doing my rounds here on the circuit, trying to get a couple of atmosphere shots and stuff that way, and I've uh, come down here to the start gate, and if you'd just like to have a look at the ground underneath me here, plenty of squelchy stuff to get the... Uh, bikes dug down deep off the start so it'll be interesting to see how this plays out plenty of gate prep needed to get a good launch off here but uh, probably break down a lot during the day as well so we keep an eye on this in all the race action I was going around the circuit today checking things out and while I met with one of the marshals here Joshua who travelled all the way down from Drogheda this morning to support his friend Marcus who's doing the travel marshal here today yep. so Joshua have you been to the Dublin Supercross before or have you seen this event? I've been here once before yes yeah and do you like the, the racing itself is it something I think so yeah it's really interesting yeah. it's and you were saying to me there that you uh, went around on this track and as well as Garmistown as well for a ride on the bike so would you like to get into the sport? probably get I'll, a bike? I'll try it out yeah yeah definitely Maybe. so uh, what the uh, <laughs> What's the thing you like most about the racing then today? I think it's just like really entertaining, all the like the danger as well, so part of that as well. Yeah, and would, really you, interesting. would you have a favourite rider other than Marcus? No? No. No, everybody's all good. Marcus, all right, yeah, Joshua. Yeah. Well, thanks for looking after us here today and making sure we're all safe with the yellow flags out. And hopefully, you won't have to call the ambulance on anyone. But hopefully, yeah. yeah. I hope things go well. All right, and we wish Marcus luck as well today. Yeah, all right. Marcus. Thanks for chatting, Joshua. won on the YZ125 really ripping that two-stroke around the track here today for the Dublin City Supercross it is of course Leon Rogers Leon how are you finding out there on the circuit a bit underpowered but you're making the most of it <laughs> yeah a little bit underpowered today on the 125 RH yeah it's a tad bit wet out there and to keep the thing singing is is hard so it is uh, track is it's quite soggy in places so if you do throw the front of it into a corner you're more than likely not coming out of the 125 <laughs> now um, you're, you're a very established quad racer we all, we all know you from that background but you've made a switch to two wheels now so why, why did you do it and how has it been why did i do it um i suppose 
14 years racing quads it kind of just you know fizzled out it wasn't enjoyable anymore really it was you had to go there the pressure was on to do well you know you had to be inside the top three for between sponsors and different things like that the bike you know i just i i've always rid bikes so i have never raced them always rid them practicing on it and that throughout the winter but uh the bikes are just more fun you know the even the, the lads around the bikes you can just more crack nothing is too serious you go out there and just have a bit of fun if if you do well brilliant if you don't what about it i mean with the quad it was just always just so much pressure so it was so. yeah absolutely well you have no weight on your shoulders today i don't think anybody expects much of a quad race no <laughs> so uh what, what do you think of yourself today where would, where would you be happy with finishing ah. up today on a, on a 125 look at i mean anything is possible i mean the first heat there i got a bad start i was down in probably seventh or eighth i got back up to third and then the second heat there i got a great start i was second off the line i held that to the finish so i mean if i get a good start i'd like to do well if not i will of course battle my way up to get up there but i mean look there's a lot of quick lads here today so there is so i'm not expecting anything a top top 10 to be happy and maybe the two stroke class look at maybe i don't know a top three depending on many two strokes out there today there's not many so yeah all right we we'll keep an eye out for them anyway yeah, yeah. thanks very much for chatting with no you today thank you <laughs> Up here now with the number 95 of Dylan Steins. Dylan, uh, do you come to this event every year for the Supercross or is this uh, your first appearance at it or what way has it been for you? No, I've always wanted to come and do it but every year I've been doing it I've either been British Championship usually um, so it's on later this year so the calendar was free so I decided to come up and give it a go. Yeah, the track looked very very technical out there today but you seem to be enjoying yourself all the same like going plenty of sideways action with whips and scrubs and all that. How do you find the circuit? Yeah, no, it's fun. Like, it's such a cool little track. Like, it's only like a minute lap time. But the amount of action in that minute is mega. Like, and the race is just absolutely brilliant to have it here. And Mark puts on a great show here. It's a brilliant event. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was watching it there this morning and it was just like bang, 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 bang. Race, 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 race. And plenty of fast lads in each group as well because everybody's kind of mixed together. How do you find that on the circuit if you're coming up on slower riders or do you think it makes a difference? It's not too bad. Usually you can just jump past them. Well, sometimes you might have to slow down a bit. but you can just jump past them. Depends the conditions as well. If they're tricky like today, it's a little harder, but usually it works okay and it's something different for everyone to watch and it makes it, it makes it all really exciting. Absolutely, yeah. So definitely a, wor a worthwhile event to come down to. Oh, 100 percent Yeah, I'm <laughs> gonna get here every year if I can. <laughs> Brilliant. Alright, well thanks for chatting with us, Dylan. Have a good day. Cheers, thank you. So that's it then for part one of our coverage of the 2019 Dublin Supercross event here where we've seen all the heat races happen out throughout the morning and just finished up with a two-stroke race here as well where Glenn McCormack picked up picked up his first trophy today. Uh, he was uh, two stroking his way around the circuit. We'll be sure and catch up with us in part two where we take a look at the uh, finals of the day. So it'll be a great C, B and A final and we'll see what footage we can catch from that. 
As always, if you've been liking the videos that we put out, it really mean a lot to us if you could support us by placing an ad on the website beforemx.com, giving us a like and share on Facebook, comment down below what you'd like to see us do in the future or any changes we can make. And if you're watching on YouTube, give us a like and subscribe as well. We'll catch up with you in the next part in a couple of days' time here from the 2019 Dublin City Supercross.